In this tutorial, we'll explore how to manage user permissions using the Josh app. To begin, open the Josh app and navigate to the Settings menu by selecting the profile icon in the top left corner of the Home Intelligence dashboard. Then, select the building for which you want to manage user permissions. In this example, we'll choose Coastline Ridge. You will then see the option to Manage Users. Select the Manage Users button to access the menu. Here, you will have options to invite a user, edit user roles, or view active users in your building. To start, you can add as many users as you'd like to access your Josh system. Simply invite their email and choose the role that makes sense for them. When it comes to adjusting an active user's role, select the user whose role you want to adjust. In this example, we'll use the Admin Josh user. For Admin Josh, they are currently set to a support role. A brief description of the role's functions is also provided. If you click the drop-down menu, you can choose from four different roles, Head of Household, Resident, Houseguest, and Support. Today, we'll focus on three of these roles, Head of Household, Resident, and Houseguest. Selecting Head of Household grants the user ultimate control over the system. This includes modifying the system, editing and revoking permissions for other users, and having Josh portal access. We recommend that homeowners are assigned as head of household, with other occupants being either residents or houseguests. The resident role is typically used for family members or anyone living in the home full time. They have full access and can control Josh, but cannot edit the system. This means they can't add or delete devices, areas, or scenes. A houseguest has similar permissions as a resident by default and is best used for visitors or renters. If you would like to customize the access or permissions of any roles, you'll see an Edit User Roles button at the bottom of the screen. For example, you might want to limit a guest to their suite and a collection of devices. This is where you can set those specific permissions. First, select the Area Access dropdown and navigate to the areas you want to limit them to. For this example, we'll choose Guest Suite, Guest Bathroom, and Guest Bedroom. Next, return to the main edit role menu and select the devices that make sense for them. We'll choose lights, fans, fireplaces, shades, music, and video. This restricts house guests to accessing only these devices in their applicable areas through the app. Then, select the remote access dropdown. This restricts users from having access to Josh if they are not on the home network. Let's select not allowed for this house guest so they have to be on the premises to use the app. Just like that, we have set custom permissions for a house guest within the Josh app. Custom permissions can be set for support, residents, and guests, while heads of households remain in complete control over their property. That concludes this tutorial. We hope this guide on managing user permissions was informative and helpful. Give it a try and stay tuned for more Josh tips to enhance your home intelligence experience. Thank you.